So now we're finally getting into the last few processes where we turn all of our subframes into one image that we then work on to produce a decent image, hopefully. So of course, as this is called image integration, it's a process called image integration, which is that one there. Let's just move these up here so we can see what's going on. If you've been following along with what I've been doing, then it should be quite obvious what you're doing next, which is add files. And the files you're going to add are the XISF files from the reg folder. So we want all of those. So Control A, click open. Next we add our local normalization files, so click add LNorm files. Control A, as before, click open you note that it's put an N now in front of the file number or the file name. Next is our drizzle files, so click add drizzle files and click all of these. Same from the same folder look. But these ones are XDRZ, these are our drizzle files. And click open. Now we have an N and a D in front of each file name. So we shift that up there, give us some room. Next step, image integration. So we use the following settings. Combination average, normalization. It's of course local normalization because we created all those files. Weight will be fits keyword. If you remember back when we did the subframe selector, we left that as SS weight. So that's what we use for the fits keyword in weights. And make sure generate drizzle data and evaluate noise are both checked. You see what we're actually doing here is a drizzle integration and at the point we're at at the moment this is what you would call pre-integration. Next section we have pixel rejection so we just shift that up there so we can see what we're doing. Drop pixel rejection down and because we've got 20, only 20 frames we're going to choose Windsorized Sigma clipping. If you've got more than 20 then you do linear fit but this one we're using Windsorized Sigma. In normalization, local normalization and just uncheck clip low range and if it's checked uncheck clip high range. Now we click apply global and the software will go off and do our initial integration. I'll come back when it's finished. So there it goes, finishing the initial integration. We shut that box down and we'll just take a look at what we've produced here. So it's produced three files. Rejection high, this is what it rejected on the high. All that horrible yucky noise. Zoom in there, you can see all the noise it's thrown out. We can shut that down. Rejection low. More noise. It's thrown away from the image and this is the image that we're left with so let's just do a stretch on that and you'll see that image there pretty red but we removed that in later processes so now we close that down we don't need that anymore because now we're going to move on to our final step which is called drizzle integration drizzle integration is of course a process so we go processes or processes and find drizzle integration which is that box there and first step as always add files from our reg folder and we just add all these drizzle files so control A click open then we add in our local normalization files XNML from the reg folder control A as before click open it's got the N in front of them there, look. And click Apply Global. Then the software will go off and start doing your drizzle integration. So that's finished. Close down drizzle integration. We're done with that. It's now produced a couple of files here. One called Drizzle Weights. Don't need that. And this file here, which has got the title Drizzle underscore integration. And this is our final image. I just put a stretch on that and see roughly what we've got. 
takes a little while because this is quite bigger now. And there's our image that we now will move on to to apply processing techniques to make that clearer. So what you do is you file, save as. What I generally do is I go back to my, in this case, flame directory. And I create a folder called dollar dollar work. And I save this file, drizzle underscore integration dot XISF in dollar dollar work. So that's the completion of creating one file that we now edit to make it look nice from all of our captured light frames that we took. So in the videos that now follow this one, we'll be working on this image to produce a nice result.